Okay, so how do we measure the distance? You may or may not ask the solar panel this distance to this distance. How do we how do we measure that? Well, there's probably a couple of different ways you can measure it. You could guesstimate, you could, you know, measure from the you know, from here to here, and we could do all that, or, but there's a, a really easy way, and it's the way we used to measure uh, valve to pistons clearance when I was uh, doing my engine work and working on the Ducatis. So you just take plasticine, and you put plasticine in the valve pocket of the piston. The piston's usually got a, a valve pocket, and the, and the valve comes down. You put plasticine in there, and it would come squeeze it, and then you know how much clearance you have between the uh, valve and the piston when it's uh, at top dead center, when the when it, when the valve's open all the way and piston's up there. Well, you can do it with, like this too. See, you've got this, and you just take this, you lift this up, and you put it. Let me do it here. You lift this up, you put it there, where you're going to be mounting the puck. Make sure that's where, you just push down on it, push down, and then you lift up, and there you go. You've got a, and I've already done this, it should be around 30, close to 33, yeah, 33 right on the money. So that's 33. And let's just do it again on the other side. 33 millimeters. I'll just do it on the other side. It should be... Should be the same. I'll just do it over here. That's how thick the pucks have to be. Here it is. What is it? Yeah, 30. 32.8. So, you know, it doesn't have to be dead on you know it's just got to be as a matter of fact you want it to be a little uh underside you don't want it whatever that distance is you don't really want it to be you don't want it to be over that's for sure it could be right on then you've got the you've got the uh, sealant to go in there so you know a few thousandths of an inch 30 second of an inch whatever okay, here we go Yeah, 33, 33 millimeters. I wrote on here. Thirty-three. We don't need this. No, no point four. Thirty-three millimeters. That's what we're looking for. The puck thickness. So that's how you do that. I mean, there's other ways you could take a. I tried this, you know. You could take um, you take a bore gauge. They're uh, they're spring loaded. And that one's that one's tight. They're spring loaded. And then you know you uh, you you measure a bore with it, like this. And then you tighten at the bottom and it holds it. Then you loosen it and they come out. I need to oil these up a little bit. But these are really handy, these little bore gauges. But, you know, plasticine, for what? I mean, it's, uh, this isn't going to the moon. It's not like rocket science. It's, um, 
you know, there's, 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 there's perfect perfection and good enough and you know, good enough. And this is a big four gauge you see on the, on the Ducatis. And these are all, I mean, these are good. This is Matoyu. I mean, this is good stuff. These are good stuff. Just like this, uh, that, the Vernier caliper, which is Matoyu. It's got that years ago. I bought it from the shop that I worked. I got Matoyu, uh, Matoyu um, micrometers, different size mics. And these things are, uh, yeah, these are really, really accurate. So that's that's how that goes. Uh, yeah, simple plasticine. You know, I've had this since I was doing the Ducatis back in uh, 1980s and 90s when I was doing Ducati head of you know running the Ducatis and uh, you know. You know, back, back in the day when I, that was my little road, road going Ducati right there that I restored. When I bought it, it was, there was a, it was a tree growing through it and I restored it all up. And, um, and then I had a racing version that I built with Mach 1 heads and, uh, big valves, not desmodromic, still springs, but. Anyway, we're kind of getting off the subject, but um, I had a full machine shop at the time and I sold all that stuff and got out of it. Now I've rebought it all back to doing the Jeep stuff, but and uh, anyway, yeah, that was my little Mons. I used to ride that thing all over the place. Then I had an 860 V twin, I should get pictures of that. My 860 that I did all up V twin, really nice. And then the Mach 1 race bike was really, really cool. And I did Mossport Grat and stuff like that with it. Anyway, that's where the plasticine comes from, from way back, way back in the day. Anyway, um, so, by hook or by crook, by gum, we're going to get this thing mounted. And I got to clean this shop up. I've said I've been saying this for like months now, but I got to clean that table off. I got to clean up the top there where the lathe, all the stuff on the lathe, like up here. This is a disgrace. Right here. But uh, yeah, I mean, he got. I got all my machine tools and everything on here, but anyhow. That's, that's how we're going to, so it's 33 mil, those pucks, and uh, just cut them, make sure they're square, glue, glue the puck here, you know, on this side, and then put glue on the bottom, and glue these ridges where these are going to go, and just set it down on there, and it's unbelievable how that holds, and it's flexible, that's the thing, that Permatex, that Permatex uh, sealant, is absolutely unbelievable and it holds like it it and the thing is it, it moves so it's nice but anyhow so that's that uh what will uh once i start machining cutting and machining them and gluing them and out process i'll do it it's going to be in a couple of parts so um anyway wild bill out